Uh, I didn't get to tour the place because every instructor is already teaching or in lunch right now because it's 12 50 it's lunch time some some of the instructors are you know, busy so I couldn't get a tour so I only got a little bit of glimpse of the area usually once you get in there go upstairs turn right there's gonna be the reception it's basically the main office um, that's where you sign up if you're gonna be a visitor I saw the hangar though, it's right, it's actually connected. So this is where they park it. Yeah, it's alright I guess. I was kind of bummed because I couldn't, you know. get a tour the whole facility but I'll get I'll get that chance once I start my course oh yeah if you guys and another thing if you guys are really interested in joining this course just be aware that you'll be studying for an entrance exam before you start no not right now but before because um, I signed up mid semester Mid uh, or the starting of second semester last year, um, and um, they'll be giving you a online website and an official Red River website where they'll give you everything you need to study, and you know, they'll they'll give you about. Uh, or four months to study? Okay. I think so. We have Army Boys A. Can't wait. Yeah, I'll give you about three or four months to study. In the exam, I'm definitely they're gonna change every single year, I guess, obviously. But in the exam, it was mainly math and physics. There was a little bit of um, explanation to do, you know. But it was mainly um, problem solving. Uh, not my best, not my strongest, but I managed. I did forget one question though. <laughs> Converting inches, in, inches feet, um, like both inches and feet, and, you know. I kind of forgot about that. That's the only question I didn't know, but <laughs> I know it's an easy question. I know you're gonna start talk shitting in the comments, but. I know, I know what it was uh, right after. It's stupid, but eh. And then right after that, um, oh yeah, the thing. Oh yeah, that's the same day when I got my citizenship. So it's bullshit. So I had to wake up six in the morning, get there by seven. Take my exam for two hours. So, but I managed to finish it in one hour and a half, and I have to leave the. I have to leave the area. I have to leave the area um, immediately because exactly uh, seven. So I start seven. Eight, eight, exactly nine o'clock. I have to. Me and my parents have to, and my brother obviously have to um, go to downtown and take our oath for citizenship so it's bullshit so I was super tired too but <laughs> I managed to do two things in one in in three hours I guess oh, two hours two, three uh, the oath taking took about two hours so I managed to get into my chemistry cl class in the afternoon, so that was good. I did miss pre-calculus, so that was bullshit. 
if you're joining, if you're taking a higher level class, of, uh, which I recommend, here's another uh, tip: uh, don't ever miss a class, especially, um, um, especially in chemistry or your calculus or bio or any sort of um, high level courses or any any kind of subject for that matter matter missing one day is like <laughs> I don't know how to say this but missing one day is kind of like missing a whole unit of lesson which is bullshit because I it have it happened a lot I uh, think three times already in my free calculus class and one times in chemistry so I had to study from the books from the book which is hard because uh, Mr. McIntosh is good at them um, explaining things then because he, he mainly explained things then explain things in his own words then explaining it with the book so same goes for um, Mr. Pat Note, our chemistry teacher. A lot of notes. I mean, he does type the things that he says, but the, but it's different if he talks. What? It's different if he talks about the unit and you by just looking at the presentation um, that he typed, or because he posted in Edmodo. And you can just look at look it up to things if you miss some stuff. Um but yeah. Still I still did manage to finish. I'm not gonna lie, I got a seventy five in pre calculus. Did manage to get an 80 because of the exam and homeworks and quizzes obviously, obviously in test bust my ass off for those shit I'm not surprised to get a 75 in physics in my final because I wasn't really I did get an 84 though in my first term second term my fi final term for um, physics was 75 points because the exam was really hard 